Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Zell. So today we're gonna do another uh, top 10 favorite house plants, but it's going to be uh, variegated plants. So yeah, I love variegated house plants, and it's amazing to me that almost, if not all, of this regular green plants has its own variegated version. So yeah, <clears throat> but most of this, you know variegated plants are are kind of rare uh, they are obviously more expensive than the regular version so yeah uh to start this video i'm gonna start with the plant that started my rare plants obsession okay first plant is my variegated monster elbow so yeah <clears throat> this is the plant that the first plant uh the first a rare variegated plant that uh i had in my collection just looking for best and if you've been watching on my channel for a while you you know the story of this plant this is <clears throat> the plant that my husband got for me for my i think 29th birthday that was i think 2020 if i'm not mistaken yeah uh right before the big you know texas snowstorm so this plant uh been through <laughs> uh a lot the first time i got it but now it's all good this is probably my top like variegated plants <clears throat> favorite because it's so easy and it just it's so pretty and as long as you give uh give it you know the light and watering that it needs and you know don't let it dry out because don't let it dry out and don't let it don't over water it <laughs> because <clears throat> they do tend to brown but this plant is way way much easier than Thai constellation in my opinion <laughs> so yeah I've sold lots of cuttings from this <clears throat> not cuttings I actually uh, propagate them and then grow them into a established plant at least two to five leaves and then sell them so yeah this is also the plant that started me like selling houseplant on marketplace so yeah this is so pretty <clears throat> i think three months ago i did repot and then propagate my two uh elbows so i'm just gonna show you guys <clears throat> this is the one that was actually i think i need to water this plant uh neg neg struggling that time it has a root rot but now it's doing better this too is the newest leaf since i repotted it and put it on this moss ball and i actually removed i think three leaves in here that was just browning so i remove it and you know it's doing good and this is i'm gonna put it on the side here <clears throat> actually the matter plane see that and this is the original leaf when i got it for the first time the other one already brown and so i just cut it off when i repotted this three months ago so look at that it's like almost half moon i actually don't like this kind of variegation the secure variegation but it's fine uh the leaf before this is actually this so it's like a uh, non variegated at all and then this one is the newest leaf there's two plants in here i mean two growth point the other one is <clears throat> uh low variegation see that hopefully you guys can see it so yeah i'm so happy it's it's they're doing good now i've been uh trying to be on top on watering and 
spraying them with neem oil and all that just trying to give them the care that they deserve so yeah and i have another one here the, i just got all the plants that i'm going to keep for myself so this one is <clears throat> the top cut of this plant the mother plant and it's already it already got, grows this and now it's unfurling another leaf here so yeah i'm really happy i've got tons and tons of uh propagation cuttings that already growing into their own uh little plant that i'm probably gonna sell all of that uh maybe christmas before christmas so i can have christmas money <laughs> so yeah but this three is going to be my on my own collection i think this one i'm gonna put it on the living area because i'm going to do like rearrange things in there and then this one is usually in on the back here on that grow light on the back and this one is going to be on my plant room so yeah this is for the first plant monstera variegated monstera albo okay next plant is another monstera but it's uh <clears throat> a monstera aria <laughs> wow so pretty so i've got this last like the mother plant i got a big uh pot of monster aria that i think there's three or four uh, plants in there and it's like massive i propagated it and repotted it and it's also been through uh a lot for a while <clears throat> i had to repot it again and again because it's getting uh retract and just keep browning but right now you guys look at this this is just one of the yeah, the butt cut and yeah it's so pretty you see i i thought before that it's going to be it's not gonna be my favorite because it's just giving me a headache but now oh my goodness you guys look at that variegation so yeah i also have three in here that i am all uh also planning to put one on the master's bedroom and then one uh, upstairs on my plant room and then one on my living area so i got tons you know three different plants to grow so i can actually enjoy them on each part of my house and i can also just add alternately propagate them because i do sell house plants uh uh alternate Lately, <laughs> alternately propagate them so I don't have to just have one plant to cut over and over again. <laughs> so, yeah, this is one. This is probably my most favorite because look at that, it's almost like a half moon. And the thing with <clears throat> Aria, you don't really see much of the variegation when it's, the leaves are still young, you have to wait for a while before. You can see like the contrast of green and yellow so i have here i'm gonna keep this and then this is the top cut of the plant that i propagated to like i did separate like a whole plant and then parted it up but it didn't do go well it got a root rot and i have to cut it and this is the top cut of the plant that's why it's uh already like big leaves with fenestration that it's so pretty so i'm gonna cut this too and then i have another one here that oh these plants need water see that oh it's so pretty hopefully you can guys see it but yeah i'm gonna keep this too <clears throat> look at this area <laughs> and i got tons of plants not really a ton i think i only have three or four because most of the lower variegated i just get rid of it i give it to someone that uh bought one of my cuttings of the area i already sold a few of of it actually so yeah monstera area it's so pretty it's just a little bit harder than my elbow to take care of like 
especially when you propagate it it takes a while for them to grow it, they're a little bit slow in on my experience so yeah this is the area so pretty the side is not my favorite it's not gonna be on my favorite <laughs> so for the next plant is let me see okay Dun, 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 dun. This is variegated Singonium albo. I literally just repotted this last night and then put this moss pole because I've been wanting to put one. Actually, there's two plants in here on the moss pole because they look better when they're you know climbing than when they're they're just all over the place like my the mother plant. I just let it crawl wherever it wants to go on the plant room because it's my propagation plants where i propagate to sell i need to propagate that again actually so this is just <clears throat> the cuttings that i grew from wet sticks last time a couple of months ago and look at that variegation so pretty this is probably the easiest variegated plants that you can get like just like the elbow and I neglected this plant so much and look at those white leaves are still there. I actually removed some of like the older oldest leaves that it's normal when they go brown, especially when they are like highly variegated like this, but it didn't even brown. Can you see that? It's just like so immaculate, like just so white and so pretty. This is probably the most the highly variegated one that i have i still have few uh that i'm selling <coughs> on my entryway shops my inventory shops but yeah uh the mother plant needed to be propagated soon again so yeah monster uh, mons uh variegated syngonium albo and this is really you can just find this everywhere now like they grow so fast so people just grow them from its stake and then sell them for cheap yeah this is my oh syngonium arbo so pretty okay next this is probably the most common variegated plants that you can get <laughs> this is my uh variegated i don't know if you have to say variegated but it's uh pearl and jade puzzles see you can get this from business water again uh big box store <clears throat> uh any nursery you can get this and when i say easy it's like like easy <laughs> you just put it somewhere i put it on the bottom of my like the base of my uh ficus fiddly fig and yeah it's been growing i it barely needs anything you just have to water it <laughs> and yeah i propagated i propagated this a lot already that's why it's so short right now because i just propagated it and they root so fast like just put it in water and in a couple of days it it's already growing roots so yeah easy to propagate easy to find beautiful variegation see that like the shape of the leaves are like kind of weird it's not like the normal uh pothos like golden pothos they're like shaped differently each leaves are different so yeah it's browning because i obviously underwater my plants so i'm gonna put it in here and then next is uh this one needs water too <laughs> my variegated heart leaf philodendron yeah this one is water this is easy to propagate easy to grow uh grow like a weed but you need to give it enough light to actually grow a variegated leaves because if you don't give it if you put it on a low light they will eventually uh turn into just a regular green heart leaves like the one that i have on my uh, fireplace it's just a regular heart leaf now because it doesn't get any light in there but yeah this is so pretty 
I've sold so many of these plants too already. So there's actually a variegated heart leaf elbow that is so expensive. Oh my gosh, like I'm gonna put something in there. I saw it on the rare plants fairy. Um it's so expensive it's so expensive but it's so pretty it's not like this kind of variegation that's like marbly it's more on like sectoria like solid green and solid white so yeah this one just need water but it's so pretty and so easy um, this one here yeah okay next plant is a variegated variegated money tree yeah it's so pretty and i it's just amazing to me because when you see you know the regular money tree and then you see this look at that it there's like a browning on it which is trying to look for a bug every time uh, it's browning because <clears throat> obviously this is highly variegated and I think I put it like right under like the grow light and it burns a little bit so I put it on the uh, side like the edge of the shelf so hopefully uh, this will do better because it's been growing actually growing this one another one this is the first leaf that I got since I got it from Etsy uh, this is actually just free from that Etsy shop that sent me the wrong plant so they gave me something to correct the mistake or something and they sent me this and then another plant so yeah it's so pretty I'm going to repot this actually and then put it here on the bedroom so I can enjoy it because imagine if it's like like a tree it grows like a tree it's probably so pretty so there's uh, an aureo of this too and then there's like a batik I think that is more like speckly variegation so I love the elbow though see that I think I love elbows than any other variegation because they're, they're pretty 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 so next plant is <clears throat> this is oh oh no look <laughs> it's strawberry begonia if you remember guys i repotted this two weeks ago i think and it's just so little the time i need to water i like repot it again because uh it dried up so quickly so yeah there's already babies now see that like i think i can propagate this and make another plant out of it it's so pretty i need to Put it on like a hanging basket so it can actually trail down so look at that there's like pink white pink variegation it's so pretty so this is more like common but uncommon you uh, i don't really see this on like a big box store i uh, i've got this from like a local local nursery for three dollars so yeah that's it um, yeah. and next plant is ooh, they're little this is epipremnum gigantium that i just actually repot this and remove the mesh thing because it's on like a plug you know the starter plants and since that it gave me this three big leaves oh i need to repot this again and I've seen a lot of this, like the big one is still expensive. I'm not saying that, but yeah. And this is very highly variegated. You you can hardly see like any green on it. It's like more creamy mint. Yeah, it looks like a monstera mint actually. So yeah, it's my favorite because it just grows. I just have to water it often because it's on this three inch pot. So yeah, I need to water this. I mean repot it soon okay i think this is the eighth plus so the ninth plus ninth plant is whoa this uh variegated 
alocasia amazonica hopefully you guys can see it i can like tell it because ah oh, there's water in here see that oh it's so pretty i just move it to this pond and since i did that oh look at this they're just they grow so fast and they always it always grows new leaves in there see like almost every week so when i started it it's the just these leaves i need to remove it just these leaves because it's a starter plant and oh my goodness i don't know the variation of this i think it's an aria because it's more uh, kind of a yellow than a pink i actually want the pink one those are so pretty but this is what i have now and it's the SES, probably a SES variegated alocasia that you can get. So I, I have to remove this and my alocasia 20 from my male's book because they're going tall and they're touching. The leaves are touching the grow light already. So I have to remove it and put it on my virtual shelf. So yeah, this is so pretty. This is the ninth plant. Okay, guys, for the last plant. I have to move this tree in here so we you guys can appreciate and can see how big this leaf uh this tree already. <clears throat> so this is my ficus ruby, it's a rubber plant, and as you can see it's variegated. So yeah, I've got this last year and this is already needed to be propagated because you can see it's been growing so fast like those two like branch in there they're like growing taller than this br this branches in here so i need to propagate it because it's getting top heavy and i think it's about probably gonna snap soon so yeah this is <clears throat> probably if you want a variegated uh a variegated tree you can actually get a smaller one of these like from big box store uh it's a pretty plant and yeah it just need a little bit of light because they're variegated under it's a ficus you know ficus needs a little bit of light but it's one of you know it's just so pretty because uh it's a tree and it's variegated <laughs> you see that the variegation actually kind of more that's why they call it a ruby. It's more like red in here. The new, the new leaves are like this one here. I think you can see. See that? It's more like reddish pink. The new leaves. And then when they mature, they get older. It becomes more like a tinicky like just creamy so yeah that's for the 10th plant it's it's a tree and it looks like it's about to snap <laughs> okay guys that's my top 10 favorite variegated house plants and yeah thank you so much for watching if you like this video please <clears throat> give this video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed yet please do subscribe it will help me a lot and yeah i also i forgot i have my variegated billete and my variegated alocasia winti eye those are definitely my favorite too but uh, i just did a top 10 variegated husband a couple of weeks ago and i don't want to include that again and say the same thing <laughs> so yeah anyway uh let me know what is your at least top three favorite variegated plants <laughs> on down in the comment and yeah i will see you on my next one bye